This is Take 5 with Bentley, Nevada. In the studio once again today is Darren Evans, global commercial hardware leader for Bentley, Nevada, with a focus on the Orbit 60 platform, the new flagship for the business. The Orbit 60 platform is quite compact and introduces a lot of different features compared to other platforms in previous generations. And one of the things, if if I remember, with 3500 that made it distinctly different than all the platforms that came before it, is it didn't have an integral display. And that's also the case with Orbit 60. But I'd like you, because I know this is probably a question you have to field a lot with customers, talk to me about displays for this platform. No, it's a great question. And I think it depends on the audience you're talking to at a facility that where the importance of displays comes in. You know, legacy wise, a lot you've seen a lot of these legacy systems like 3300, 7200 installed in like control room environments, you know, in the in the back room, right behind the control room where somebody can walk up and view the instrumentation and, and view the information. As time's gone on and 3500 has been deployed, you see that system more installed into a blind cabinet in, in, in a back room somewhere, an RIE control room, where you're not necessarily going to just go up and interact with it. And so with 3500, we added as an option, which you had an external display option where if you added a 3594 card in there, you can gain a display functionality out of the system. But there was never anything that was kind of built into the core architecture of the hardware. With Orbit 60, we want to kind of do best of both worlds when it comes to display functionality. You've probably seen in some of the literature the really nice, beautiful looking display on the front of the Orbit 60. That is not available right now. That'll be available in the future. But anybody that buys an Orbit 60 rack now that wants to put a display on in the future, you simply take off that front panel and you pop in the display and it mounts right within the chassis design. The second option for displays, which is available right now, is the ability to connect external displays. We have a lot, large variety of different size displays, all the way down from 12 inch up to 21 inch displays. And they're really networked with Orbit 60. There's no specific display card that goes into the hardware chassis. Everything is networked off the SIM module. So you really eliminate a lot of the other limitations that you have around, I can only have one display for every rack I have or, or vice versa. So in the Orbit 60 world, I could have 10 displays looking at one rack. I could have 10 Orbit 60 racks looking at one display. It really is a limitation on networking at that point. So it really does open a lot of flexibility where you can install them close to the rack or very far distances away. So what I heard you just say is with 3500, the display was kind of an afterthought. The original intent for that was to be pretty much a fully blind system. And the display came later. With Orbit 60, I'm hearing something different. I'm hearing that basically the display was being thought about from the outset, even though it's not available yet. Yeah, when we did our interviews with with various different roles, we did rotating equipment, we did operations, we did maintenance. And there's really is a big place in the out there as well where customers do want a display, a nice fully featured display on the front of the system. And we are allowing the display to be more feature rich as well with Orbit 60. We're bringing in some of that those items we brought, we talked about earlier around sensor diagnostics, alarm and event type information. But that display that's going to be mounted on the front of the system is going to have some level of real-time analysis as well. Like it'll be able to uh, display a real-time orbit plot. It's not a substitute for System 1 or any historical database, but a real-time tool for folks that want to commission a system mm-hmm. and see the health of the sensors. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the what's happening now kind of uh, capabilities. I, I've got to say the the display certainly in those renderings it's gorgeous and I, I can imagine the appetite it's creating with customers that say I, I love the platform but man I gotta have <laughs> gotta have that display so very good and of course there's options if you don't want the integral display you can have a blind Orbit 60 rack or you can have a as you were saying, you can have a big screen with maybe a dozen racks displayed on it or a small screen with just a single rack. So lots of options. Yeah, I think we bring flexibility to the table with Orbit 60. And the nice thing is if you want to add a display to your Orbit 60, you don't have to consume any of those 20 slots we talked about earlier. It it's taps off of the uh, the network port on the SIM module. Okay. And so there's actually kind of looking at the the rack without the display, there's like a recessed area where that uh, display can 
kind of dock itself right there, if you will. Exactly, yes. So you've been listening to Take 5 with Bentley Nevada, a Baker Hughes business.